Were you and Adam always in touch? Did you remain friends when you left Killswitch? Yeah, uh, he was the one guy that, I mean, I eventually squashed it with him because it was a, a little bit of awkward blood because of the way I left it was very abrupt because um, I didn't have the wherewithal. I didn't really know how to say I had issues and I was losing myself and depressed. But um, yeah, after all that was squashed, those guys are just generous and great. They're really sweet guys. Um, but Adam was always there. I'd get a phone call from him or a text from him at least, uh, you know, I would say four or five times a year while they were touring full time. He would always reach out or I'd get a phone call at like one in the, in the morning and he was drunk, like uncle, because they call me uncle. And, uh, you know, I'm drunk. What are you doing? Why'd you leave the band, you asshole? Like just busting my balls constantly. Um, so he's always been a good, a dear friend and a brother. So, you know, it didn't surprise me he reached out, but it definitely surprised me that he had written a record and he didn't want it to be a Kill Switch record. That kind of blew my mind a little bit. And he thought of me. It's like, whoa, okay, cool. 